Good morning everybody, um, excuse that, it came up the other night, don't ask. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Spin Mop. Um, it's the cheap, if you, if you ever watched Tony's interiors, if not go over there and have a look at her um, review on the, I think it's the Bizzle. It's like an electric mop for the floor, but um, yeah, it's really good actually, and I wanted to see if I could get a cheaper alternative, and I found one for £19.99 called the Spin Maid. Obviously, it's not going to be as as good as... Um, I've just realised I'm looking at the wrong end of the camera because I've got my phone flipped round the other way. So now I'm looking in the right way. Obviously, to start off with in the beginning of this video, I'm going to look like I'm cross-eyed. But never mind. Anyway, I'm going to... I've hoovered the floor. I'm going to quickly squirt some method rhubarb, wild rhubarb over the floor. And then I'm going to... Uh, get the, swip, the spin mop out. I don't know if it's called a spin mop or a spin me, but I can't remember. The um, the box has been chucked away accidentally, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I think it says it on the... Oh, it's called the spin maid, and it was £19.95 off of eBay. So I'm going to get going now with the review, and I'll let you see how it goes. See you in a minute. Bye! All right. That's what I've just used on the floor. I've just sprayed it everywhere on the floor. And here is the spin mop. You, it's rechargeable. You charge it there. Put the charger in there. There's the on and off button. It's got um, microfiber. If I can tip it, flip it over. It's got the microfiber cloths on it, but you also get some blue scrubby cloths, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But anyway, here goes. Right. I'll probably speed this part up in a minute because you don't want to be watching me just slowly mopping the floor because as you can see, it's quite slow actually. But if it saves my back from hurting from a mop, then we'll give it a go. And I'm sure the grandchildren would love to walk around the kitchen with this in their hands, wouldn't they? Or children, if you've got young children of yourself. But I haven't put the pad on it, as you can see, it's a bit wonky. But yeah, it touches. If you, oh, putting the pads on wonky, actually, it's getting to the edges. It's not that loud. By the way, that wild, method wild rhubarb smells divine. spots I should have put the green pads on but I'll get them and show you them in a minute. And just do a tiny bit more. It's not bad is it? With the microfiber cloths on it. Obviously I think it would probably be safe for laminate flooring wood flooring, as long as you use the right it's quite flexible but like I said I think I should have used oh no, it's getting the wood up if I pick that up, but never mind
Everybody again, right? I thought I'd do this so you can't see my spot. Got another one there, but never mind. There we go. Batman, oh, it's not sticking. Right, anyway, right. The review of the spin mop. Here we go. Right, Batman plaster is coming off sorry you're gonna have to look at my spot right anyway it's called a super maid not a spin mop super maid and it's got microfiber cloths with it or microfiber pads i should say obviously it's got the i'm trying to do this one-handed sorry there's the on off button and there's where you put the charger in anyway it doesn't take long to charge when you do put it on you try and put it down without the pads going everywhere and you get some scouring pads with it they're quite um i wouldn't use these on laminate flooring or real wood i'd use the the microfiber ones but for the kitchen floors and, and tiles like these would be all right Anyway, that was £19.95. If, if I can't find the link to that one, I will obviously put uh, a different link in if I can find one. But you can get them on Amazon and you can get them on eBay anyway. Uh, they're, maybe it's not... It's, I haven't had a chance to have a go with one of the, the more expensive ones because I can't afford one anyway. But... Um, like like I said before, Tony Interiors actually reviews two. Um, I think she's got the Bizzle one, and I don't remember what the other one is called, but she's got two that she reviews. Um, pop over there and have a look and see, and then you can make your choice from there. If you've got the funds to buy a more expensive one, then, then I'd probably go with that, because you don't really know how long the cheaper one's going to last. Hopefully this one will last me a while. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Anyway. I'll let you know in the future if I've still got it. Um, yeah, so far I like it. Yeah, it's very good. It saves on the old back with the, the mop and, and bucket. Even though I've got a spin mop, it still gives me a lot of pain using a, using the mop. But that one you just, you know, up, down, up, down. So it's not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to let you go there. This was only a very short review. Um what else have I got to say about it other than if you want a cheaper alternative for an electric mop I'd give it a go and if not have a look at Tony interiors and have a look at the more expensive versions and then give one of them a go maybe but that's a lot for now uh, I will see you in the future again at the moment I'm finding it a bit hard to to um, um, juggle my illnesses and everything but I'll get there in the end um, more videos coming up and I will check you out soon no, I'm not going to check you out that's a bit creepy isn't it hmm. sorry I will see you again soon and please do keep smiling until then TTFN bye oh hang on before I go, please give me a like and a thumbs up, maybe subscribe back. That would mean the world to me. Right, see you later. Bye!